next block must write. I mean, I'm just saying. What other gift could you get someone that you know that is a content creator, wants to be a content creator? I'm going to give you all the deets on everything I use create. By the way, if you know here, my name is Bridget Harrison, AKA Bridget H, hairstylist, makeup artist, and content creator. Welcome to my channel, Beauty, Fashion, and Lifestyle. And if you have not, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow me on all social media platforms. Now let's go on and get into this creator talk. All right, child, so your girlfriend, your baby mama, your baby daddy, everybody wanna be a content creator. One of the things that I found that was really hard when I first got into content creating, like YouTube influencer, really was YouTube, was, um, especially when I started doing, especially when I started to do makeup videos, um, was finding equipment that works for what I need, especially on brown skin, you know. Things like that are important. Well, here we are years later and baby, the cameras are cameraing, the phones are phoning, and everything. I wanna start, um, so I'm gonna start off with these cameras. The camera I'm filming with right now is the Sony a 74 I have a picture and show it to you guys. Now this camera here is my big boy camera. I film all my YouTube videos with this camera. Well, not my blogs, but my videos. Anything makeup related, uh, wardrobe, things of like YouTube, YouTube, I film with this camera. This camera is a full frame camera. Um, the price point is $22.99. The body only. And um, I only bought the body. And also, um, it does really good for pictures. Like when I need to take pictures and things of that nature, I'll pull this camera out also. So I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, I have three cameras. I got three cameras and they all do a different job. For the most part, um, it's the a7 IV. It's just Sony. Like, I ended up switching over from Canon to Sony because I started with the Sony ZV-1. And I just ended up over here. Uh, I just ended up over here. And I like it. Like, I don't have, like, oh, my God, I shouldn't use this. I think it's just to everybody's preference. I know a lot of YouTubers say that they use, like, uh, Canon and the 60D, 70D, Mark D, whatever those cameras are. But for me, I like it. I like how it looks. My color looks good. I don't do color grading either, y'all. I don't color grade. I don't know how to do all that. I ain't been, I'm not about to sit up here and lie to y'all like, oh yeah, I be color grading. I try my best with the lights and to get the, the camera to look like what I want it to look like because that's just not something I know how to do. I have played with it here recently, but that's just not my th first go-to thing. I just want it. I like getting the things out the camera and let it do what it does. And if you're following me on Instagram, if you have, just go to Instagram and look at my content. Like any of my makeup videos for the most part, uh, reels lately in the last couple months, I have actually filmed long form and just zoom in and do all that in post. And I love this camera and it gives the quality is everything. The quality is everything. Like you could just look at it and see, and it's a good camera for video. You can look at my makeup videos. If you're looking for a camera for makeup, and things of that nature, this is a great camera for that. Right. Moving right along. This right here is the Sony A7C. I know y'all gonna be like, well, Bridget, girl, why you got all on camera? So let me tell y'all what happened. What happened was the Sony A7C is a blogging, blogging camera. It's the first full frame blogging camera Sony came out with it. So this camera was, at the time, one of the first vlogging cameras that is full frame. Y'all wanna know what full frame is? So here we go. Like, if you're a professional photographer and all this, I don't wanna come over here with it, cause I'm, I am a hairstylist, a makeup artist, and a content creator. So keep all the extra stuff to yourself. A full frame camera is a camera that doesn't crop in. So pretty much like, uh, it doesn't have a crop sensor. A lot of cameras are just moving to full frame. So like the camera might show like a small square, but a full frame camera is gonna show you a bigger square. So if you your lenses are full for full frame cameras, let's say like I have a lens that's for a sensor, a S crop or a crop camera, it's gonna show smaller than what it would for a camera that's full. 
full frame, something like that. But the full frame camera just shows you a bigger picture. The dots and all the stuff that puts the picture together, it makes it look amazing. It's just something about it. Now this camera here, um, I, it's y'all, it's, it shoots 4K. Both of them, all my cameras shoot 4K. All of my cameras, every last one of my cameras shoot 4K. Um, it's nothing like, I just didn't want to sell it. I'm not gonna lie, I just kept it. At one point, I used to shoot my reels with this, but just trying to learn how to work smarter and not harder, I shoot my, my content long form, and then I zoom in. I just learned how to position my camera to where it works for me. And, um, but this camera here, um, I thought about, it's the reason why I bought it, okay, let me start over. I bought it because I wanted to vlog with it. But y'all, this camera's big, this camera big. Like it's big and um, I seen somebody with the other guy. I was like, let me pull my camera out and vlog with y'all this camera big. Like I just, and I already got a total big purse depending on if I'm going somewhere or something. I just like it's big, it's a little bulky. Uh, but let me tell you something. This camera shoots just as good as the Sony a7 IV. Uh, let me see what the price point is on this. Oh, this camera is $1,600, body only. Now you're looking at like $1,800. I and if so, this is a 16 some lens. I was playing with vlogging the other day with it. I ain't like it. So, um, this camera heavy. I keep saying it. It's not heavy for me to shoot with. It's just a lot to vlog with when I got this. And we'll come back to this in a minute. But I just want you to understand what I'm saying. Um, it's full frame. I, I can't give y'all all the specs and stuff. I don't know all that. I just know what it does. It does what it needs to do. I actually did buy another 50 millimeter lens. So if I am shooting at the same time, now when I say shooting at the same time, I have one camera over here, horizontal, and then I have a camera right next to it, and it'll be vertical. So if it's still, if I'm doing that, I bought the 50 millimeter lens for that because it gives me this, y'all. This camera is just as good. It's the A7C for, like, if you're like, okay, I need to buy me a camera. Um, like, you got a little bit more money than paying for the ZV-1 or ZV Mark II, but then you want, you don't have that 2300 to buy the Sony A7C 7.4. Ooh, child. The Sony 7.4. Then this here will be really good. Now, if you just starting, you don't know. You got somebody just starting out. Y'all don't go just go buy no highest camera. Like, these cameras... Like, it took me, let me tell y'all, my first camera was a Canon T7 III. It did not have Wi-Fi or nothing on there. And I just worked my way up. I went from 7 III, I think, to a T7 something. It had Wi-Fi. Then I went to the Canon, not RP. I went to a full frame Canon, Canon R, the cheaper one. It's the R and the RP. I went to the cheaper one. Then I came over to Sony. Like, I did not start off spending $1,000 on no cameras. Like, I really feel like the thing that has blessed me is I've learned how to work my camera, so I kinda know what I need. Do I need a new camera right now? The only new camera I need is a vlog camera. I ain't gonna lie, I want the new Mark II. I don't need it, but I want it. So speaking of vlogging, since we're talking about vlogging, bam. So this bad boy here is $700, $800. Uh, this does not come with it no more. When I purchased it, it came with it. Sony said, oh, y'all just want this camera. They took it out and they charged $150 for that. We'll get to that in a minute. But we're gonna talk about this bad boy here. This is the Sony ZV-1. My best, best friend. It's little, it's compact, it's cute with the pink case. It's little, it's compact, it's cute with the pink case. You can shoot in 4K. The only thing I do not like about this camera is that the batteries will die on you. When I get rammed up and I'm really working the batteries, that I have like four batteries, four. I have five batteries. And I keep them all with me, especially when I'm out. I charge them. I'm in a car. I'm putting my phone on the charger. I don't like that, but the camera is good, y'all. Now, if you don't have no $1,500, how much is this? $1,600, $2,300, but you got like a good $800. Now, what I would say is, um, I think the ZV-1 over the Mark II, the Mark II is probably $100, $200 more. Get that. Don't buy the ZV-1. Unless you get this for like $400 or something down there. Now look here, sis. You can get this for four hundred dollars or something. Go on and get it. But if you if you're gonna pay seven hundred dollars and you can pay eight or nine hundred dollars for the newer version of this, get the newer version. They said the battery life is better. This is a really, 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 really good camera. I shoot reels with this. I do all my blogging with this camera here. Once you learn your settings and you learn your eye, you gotta learn your eye, your settings, and what you like. Let me tell y'all something. The camera can be your best friend. I This camera with these lights, I could shoot or make a video with this camera. 
I can shoot. If you're looking to start and you don't know where to start, I would definitely say buy this camera. If you're a parent, your daughter's like, oh, but my mom wanna be a vlogger, I wanna be on YouTube, I wanna make videos, da, da, da. and she's showing you them high price cameras, now get her this. If we have any questions about the camera, or the cameras, let me know. But this, this right here will be, this shoots everything. If you're vlogging, if you're doing every freaking thing, this stays in my Okay, guys. Now, I know y'all was like, Bridget, that camera do not show like this. <laughs> it does. This is my Sony ZV-1. I'm recording on the Sony ZV-1. And I wanted you guys to see. Yes, I am. So let me show you. Because there go the big camera. There go the iPad. There go the lights. I am recording on my Sony ZV-1. Look at this, y'all. With this lighting, like you barely can tell a difference. Like my settings are about the same on all my cameras, right? So this works like i'm telling y'all if you're new and you're trying to get into this and you don't have a super big budget but you got a thousand dollars buy you a sony zv1 get you, we'll get the mark two get you a zv1 mark two whatever get one of them and start off there because this camera will do you some justice right, so we like, have talked enough about cameras then we're going to talk about the two lenses that i use i only have two lenses my lens so the lens that i'm using now i use this for all my beauty videos so it's the sony um f 1.8 50 millimeters 200 250 dollars it's on sale y'all this lens is better than some lenses i had another lens and i just pretty much sold it and got rid of it because it was like I wasn't using it and I spent a pretty penny on that lens. And the lens, it was a good lens, but I just feel like this lens works really well with this camera. But this is what I use to film all my makeup videos. Now y'all, baby, let me tell y'all when I first started, I don't think I could say, I just want my background blurred. I want my background blurred. Now I'm able to, and we could talk about this on another day, y'all can let me know. I don't know if I would be the person to teach it, but I could tell y'all how I do it. But all I know is now I know how to, I can pick up any camera um, and I can get to where I need it to go to give me exactly what I'm looking for. Like, I like my black, blah, 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 blah. I like my background blurred. Like, you can see, like, it's not as blurred because I'm closer to the background, but if I was far away, it'll give you that depth to ratio. I hope I said that right, but it'll give you that, like, I'm sitting here and it's sitting back there. It just looks so good. Now, that's what I like. So, I have a habit of, if I see somebody shoot something, I go look and see, like, what are they using? Because a lot of times, especially when they have a bigger following, people ask the questions, they've done highlights. So, I go through the highlights. Y'all, I have bought this lens. You hear me say I have two. And I have two, the camera I'm filming on, and I have it for this. So, if I'm doing some, and if I decide to take this somewhere and want to shoot, whatever the case is, I can put this on there. Now, this is not a vlogging lens at all. At all. I have to, um, and that was the other thing. I got to figure out what lens. It came with something, but I got to figure out what it is, um, what lens to buy if I want to do blog like styles with this camera, because this is a blogging camera. And so your F point, like it's like the 1.8, that means you're going to have more buka in the background, which is blurry. And then if you have a higher number, it's not going to be as blurry. This is something it took, yeah, it took me, I've been 2020 ish going into 2021 is me playing with my cameras like i used to have to screenshot my settings every time uh kwan bird i'll be like kwan uh he facetime i'll be like i don't know something wrong i sent him pictures to him video and he would walk me through to god be the glory to god be the glory i know kwan be like oh bridget ain't call me in forever i don't have to really call him and ask him no more like i kind of got it and then you know it, it some things on youtube here but when it comes to that, wasn't no helping with that. And again, I'm not a person like, oh, it does this, 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 and no, I don't. I don't know how it. Like, I just know it shoots with exactly what I need and what I need it for. Now, this right here is a um, Sigma 35 1.4. Baby, this is a wide lens. Did I say it right? Yeah, a wide angle. This is a wide angle lens, y'all. This wide angle lens here is my best friend when I do anytime you see me doing a trial haul, the store, um, except in the dressing room. I don't take it like this first spot is heavy, but this here, this is by Sigma. I think it's like $900. I know y'all gonna be like, what? I know, right? Y'all, I quit buying bags and stuff. I'm just outside. So right now this lens is $8.99. It's $900. Best Buy is $900. 
y'all amazon is probably not hundred dollars this lens here is ladies if you do like full body style content fashion because what i was running into issue with this this lens here is like i have to put the lens across the room in order to show my whole outfit or whatever the case is with this lens here this will be your best friend this lens is like it ain't like and today when i came to set up here i had this lens on here because i was getting the last video i shot was i was doing some clothes stuff right and i was like what's wrong it was just wrong because it's like showing the whole room and i was like oh i need to switch my lens y'all this is a really 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 good investment especially if you if you're into fashion and you're doing a ton of trial hauls. now there's some people got them adjustable lenses y'all i have not played with the adjustable lenses i don't know how they work i am though because i was trying to film a vlog style the other day with my big camera because i wanted it to, i wanted all the details y'all i wanted it to be cinematic and Y'all was having the hardest time, and I was like, okay, it's time for me to get a lens to zoom in and out. I don't know if that's the answer. For right now, these two lens are my best friends. Then we're going to talk about gadgets and accessories. The first thing that's important is for my Sony a7C, I have a dummy battery. This is like, so when I'm filming, um, when I'm filming, I can plug up my camera and it's going to go all day. Sony a7C has a dummy battery. The ZV-1 has a dummy battery, so if you buy this for, uh, content like makeup videos and stuff i will link this as well i don't use because i'm not filming makeup videos no more so definitely don't need it but this right here i use i cannot put this in my a7c a7c4 i don't know why it's sunny was real slick with how they built that door on the camera i don't like it but it is what it is so also here is a sony remote that i can use on any one of these cameras i'm actually going to purchase me a probably one more so when i'm shooting with both cameras because now i use my ipad when i'm shooting with both cameras i use my ipad to control one camera and then i use my remote to control another camera because my camera not like right here the camera over there and i can't like and it got to get up reach sometimes it's just too much and mess up stuff but this is the sony remote i think it's like a hundred dollars if that um it, the battery has lasted forever i have yet to switch this battery and i've had it for a while i have this here this is an L bracket, I think. So let me tell y'all, I didn't know. So photographer, photographer cameras, photography, they've been having something like this. You know, I seen Joby, J-O-B-Y, Joby, Joby, however you pronounce it. I was like, oh, I need that, it was $20. Let me get these, cause I be trying to shoot my reels. This is like when reels really was becoming like they weren't going nowhere. And this is what you do to take your camera from here to here to shoot your reels. This right here, you can put this on your, um, depending on what type of tripod you have. Like for my ZV-1, which I'll show you in a minute, I have a tripod that you can turn down or whatever the case is, or what you're doing, depending on what you're doing. But this is an L-Breaker by Javi. I love it. I love it. I love it. I keep it close to me. All this stuff, I have a backpack. I have a camera bag, and I keep this stuff in my camera bag, and I put my camera bag up. I don't want it. It's not laying around. They ain't like, oh, yeah, look at girl. Look, look at Bag. you can look at <laughs> no you can't look at my camera bag. i have this i just bought this because i have the ulanzi light they both do the same thing they cost the same amount of money let me see but i think this one got ulanzi b it's newer let me tell y'all i like you ulanzi and newer n-e-e-w-e-r i like both of their products i have like gadgets from both of them this this um I seen a girl out. Y'all, I be paying attention. Like, I just don't be looking at stories and stuff. Like, if somebody have something posted, so she had her camera out, and she had her light on her camera like this. I was like, oh, that was dope. And then also, you can put it onto your camera where your mic will go. But if you have a mic, then I think, oh, you can't do it on this one. So, yeah, she had it, like, on here and it looked good the light was lighting and i was like oh okay that was a great idea so this just something for y'all to um think about so those are my lights these are the lights i keep with me now that i have this light again because when i'm out like when we out filming content now if i'm out with my friends baby but when i'm when i'm going to film content i'm showing up with 15 tripods like we gonna get our content and we gonna get what we need but this i like how slim i like how sleek it is and it actually 
works. I have this camera case. I just bought it not too long ago. It was a great investment because I would just throw the ZV-1 into my purse. I, I told the totes, I told totes. The ZV-1 just be in my purse and it will be on. And when I get ready to use it, the battery be dead. Or the, the lens is dirty, so I end up buying this cute. Now, let me tell you, I ordered three of these before I got to this one. Um, It's cute. Okay, so you put your camera in, it holds the batteries. Like, this is, it's not too big, so it goes in, bam. You zip it up, y'all. Yes, it's pink, yes, it's pink, it's cute. And it's like, I don't care if this, I don't need this, but this right here, I just drop it in my purse and it, it, it can do whatever, it's not being damaged, it's not cutting off. And then my batteries are not dead when I pull it out to film. And then it holds up to four or five batteries. Cause I had four in here. Yes. So this was good. The uh, tripod that the part it came with two parts, and then this is the actual tripod. It's man photo. Both parts are man photo. Both parts are man photo. I really really like the tripod. It's sturdy. Like I said, you can pull it up and shoot on top as well. So let's talk about this tripod from you, Lansy. This is I have two of them. I have a black one, I have a gray one. Y'all, this here, it actually has, it turns into a cell phone holder. Let's see, hold on. It turns into a cell phone holder. Bam, so you don't have to buy an attached. They didn't have to send you one, you don't have to keep up with it. And then it has a ball. It has a ball thingy. You could kind of move the camera, do whatever you need. And this is what I'm saying, depending on what I'm shooting. If I'm shooting a reel, depending on how I'm doing it with my Sony ZV-1, this is sturdy enough to hold my Sony ZV-1 and I don't have to use a big tripod. And I could just do like the controls of it like this. This bad boy is, I think it's 44 feet. It's not a selfie stick, it's just a long tripod. I film a lot of stuff with my vlogs. With this tripod in the hair salon i got some new videos up on my hair channel i filmed it with both of these tripods one had my cell phone one has um my uh one is horizontal one is vertical this right here i think it was like 26 dollars, y'all my best friends when i'm going out to eat i definitely have this one i'd have both because i'm making a real now that's where when it's like stuff like that i don't try to like zoom in and things of that nature like you need to get it so i have this one i have two so i also have this came with my sony zv1 um, uh, okay i'll bring back this came with my sony zv1 um it's lightweight like y'all it's like if I, if i have it i'm if you see me hold my camera and i'm out 90% of the time it's on here. The only thing is it doesn't adjust. It doesn't go high, it doesn't go tall. So if you're in an environment like, uh, we went to, when we met Jackie Aina, they had a table. So I was able to pull this tripod out, sit it on the table, and I was able to pull it up and just let my camera record. I'm like, what's that noise? And I was able to let my camera record. And this is another, y'all, you Lindsay, it's like, when it comes to gadgets, like these tripods and stuff, they have yet to let me down. So I orders a lot of you Lindsay. And this again has a ball um, thing or whatever. So if you need to turn it to make a reel, you can. And this cannot hold my ZV-1. It can, but it's, it's too heavy for it. I can tell you that. Let me tell y'all about this bad boy here. This is um, the Jobby, I don't know which one it is. It costs $100. Uh, somewhere up in there it costs a lot and it comes with the bell head thing y'all let me tell y'all what happened so i was shooting christmas content the other night and um i couldn't get the tripod to stand like i wanted it and i was just having the hardest time to because my kitchen is different to like get what i was trying to get baby let me tell y'all i put this sony a74 now i wouldn't like because you could twist it and do a whole bunch of stuff you can't do that when i say i said it and did it like this and I use this, but I don't use it like I should. I bought it. I thought I needed it. It's kind of heavy. It's bulky. Yeah, I don't like bulky stuff. Yeah, I set this this Sony A7 on here and shot my damn content. My content looks so amazing. I can't wait for y'all to see it. This here, 
It's one of those like, you know, you could buy this, pay $26, I'll pay $100. But let me tell y'all, this, and I see people all the time, they vlog with this. Y'all, it's heavy. It's bulky and it's heavy, but it is damn good. Like, this gimbal, I don't know if you want to consider it a tripod or a gadget, but um, I don't use it like I should. It's big and bulky. Like, y'all have an issue with that, but let me tell y'all something. When I use it, because I've used it at home, like I did like an intro to one of my YouTube videos. I've done this intro. I use this like when I'm painting. This is your best friend. It's good for walking too. And then I had this gimbal here. Yeah, I ain't used it. I ain't used it. I don't even know how to set it up. I pulled it out because it was up here dusty. I took it downstairs. Um, I was supposed to hook it up to film Christmas stuff, but I didn't. But by the end of the year, by the end of the year, I will be using this because I spent too much money on it not to be using it. And I seen uh, Jackie, Jackie, I think she was in London somewhere. Jackie was somewhere on the airplane and she had she had a bigger one sitting next to her. I said, oh, Jackie got the gimbal. Like when you start looking at people um, who are making content and they're making this dope content, everything just always look good. Y'all, they spending arms and legs. They got gadgets. Like they got gadgets, they got gimbals. They have everything they need to make their content look good. So when I seen it, it didn't surprise me that Jackie had one. I'm like, okay, Jackie. So I was just like, okay, let me pull my eyes. Like, I'm, I am be sitting, y'all, I buy stuff and be sitting on it. But I really like this gimbal. The only thing is, like, when you're going out to eat, you're going somewhere. And it's like you're filming content. So I was just like, what I'm going to start doing is I have a tote to put all my stuff in. I might put, like, a small person. Or so I can have my cute purse, like, to get my content or whatever. But it's, like, it's just a sacrifice to do what you're doing, to get what you need. Like, I don't have a, at this point, it's like it is what it is. Because the girls is getting the content. And I want my content to be just as good, if not better. I don't compare myself to nobody else. Not saying it like I want, like, not like that. But if you know me, the people that know me know I'm a gadget person. I want, like, the goal for my videos is to be, like, movie video, movie style. My blog's kind of like a movie cinematic. Like, just tells a story. Even if I'm just walking through the house, I still want you to be like, dang, that lighting look good. Or dang, that look good. Like, I, that's just what I want for me. That's what I want. So that's what I like. But anyway, so we're are we done with the gadgets? Cause baby Bridget got gadgets. I got gadgets and accessories. If you have somebody that wants to be a content creator, even if you buy your friend, those you who spend hundred dollars on your friends, if you have a friend that wants to be a content creator and they're filming with their phone, buy them a gimbal. Buy black. I should have bought black. Buy them a gimbal. Buy them a phone gimbal. Buy it's some things. If you got a friend, they want a camera. It, whatever the case is, parents, boyfriend, side piece, situation ship, sugar daddy, whatever you do. This, this right here is gonna give you. This here is some. It's a start, and it helps you to get where you're trying to go. So get them that. Okay. So enough about my me and my rent. Try to tell y'all and make sure y'all click these links. I do get a commission. I want y'all know. I do get a small commission. Okay, so we have, we done talked about cameras, we done talked about tripods, um, we done talked about um, gadgets, like accessories, your remotes, your mic. I can't tell y'all much about that mic. It's a roll mic, it's a black mic. Uh, Mina, I asked her what mic she used. She sent me the link and I clicked it. That's just pretty much what that is. Um, it sounds so much better than what I had before. Like, but my iPad is very important when I shoot. I used to have a TV up here. That TV was too big. Even though it was a small TV, yeah, it was cute too. It was white, but it was too big. I used this big iPad. It's the 12 inch, 12.9, it's the iPad Pro. And I use it as a monitor. Um, also, like when you take your pictures, um, not the big files, but the JPEG files can go down on your iPad. You can use it. Like, it just works together. I got this iPad here. This is a small iPad Air. Y'all don't judge me. I told y'all, look. This here, now you know they got iPads, like new iPads. This is old. Um, it's like 256 gigs. Like, all my gadgets got 256 gigs or more. I think my iPad might have 500. They might have 500. They might have, because I edit. I edit my InShot. This right here goes in my purse. This goes with me everywhere. So if I'm somewhere, what I have started to do is like when I do a reel or whatever, when I finish with it, 
if I'm going to edit it on my iPad, I'm going to upload it to my iPad. And then if I'm sitting somewhere, because what happens is Bridget might leave and I come back home. Then I'm somewhere sitting, I'll be like, dang, I could be editing or something. That's how, like, that's what, it's like real like that. And that's what I do. So this iPad, do you need two iPads? No, you don't need two iPads. But I just have two iPads because I have two iPads. Don't judge me. And this iPad, like, it's, I use InShot. I edit if I'm not editing, I edit on Final Cut Pro. If I'm not editing on Final Cut Pro, I edit in InShot. Um, I've been using CapCut a little lately because CapCut come through with the pictures and chopping up those pictures. And they, they got the themes all together. That's what Instagram was trying to do. CapCut got that on lock. Like, put that, choo, 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 drop it. I was like, okay. Like, I did a video the other day. I was running through. I was like, somebody said, okay, I see edits, girl. That was CapCut. That was not me. I have my MacBook Pro. It's old. So... Um, the laptops are expensive. You know, if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would get an iMac first because it's cheaper. You get so much more with it um, than you do with the laptop. But if you're moving around and, you know, like I moves around, I have my, I, I like, like, I was like about a month ago, I was like, girl, you the full YouTuber because you... You know, if I sit down somewhere too long, I'm pulling it out. I was like, I was trying to go watch Colorado play. Yeah, shout out to them. Coach Prime, because we Coach Prime fans over here. And I had pulled up to Grand Lux, my spot. And I was like, um, I got some time. I eat and just sit here and chill, baby. I pulled this iPad out, put my earphones on, and I started to work. That's what my life consists of now. And I like it. I am an Apple overly apple person i don't want to hear nothing about no androids i don't hear nothing about no toshiba and all them things like that i love apple and i'm an apple person and apple works for me now let's talk about this is the, um this right here is a thingy that you plug into your computer your laptop your computer your ipad you can plug it into your cell phone and your ipad to transfer files from your camera from a memory card to whatever you need to forty dollars Get you a couple of these. I love this. Now, the thing, I, I love it, but when I'm editing on my iMac, I have to get up, put it in, take it out, or whatever. So, I ended up ordering this gadget from L-E-N-T-I-O-N. I am about to say lituation. That is not the word, y'all. But this has a USB plug. It has the, the, the plug like the iPhone, the new iPhone or the iPad. Then it has a, a small memory card holder. It has two USBs. Oh, this is the HDMI. HDMI. It has two USBs, another iPhone charger. Then it has a like a mic plug jack. And it has two memory card holders. And it has this long ass plug. This is what I have connected to my iMac. So when I sit down, I have it, I have this thing like to sit up to bring my iMac up just a little bit taller. And I had this inside of it. I have it and I just have it there. So when it's time for me, it, I don't have to get up. I just take the stuff out, put the stuff in. Yeah, let's talk about external hard drives. Y'all, all this stuff is so important. This right here, um, I call this the YouTuber, the influencer hard drive. Cause you don't see nobody but influencers with these. And let me tell y'all the influencers you see with this are booked and busy. Them are booked and busy. Them sisters be somewhere editing. They, baby, they pulls up, they pulls up, get the hair done, they editing. They get lunch, sitting there too long, they editing. They at the car, they editing. Like, they're editing. And this is what you see. Now, this right here, I have this external hard drive. This is five gigs. This is five gigs. I know, right? It's five gigs. And this right here is one or two gigs. It's a Samsung hard drive. I have a Velcro on it. It sticks to the back of my computer. These are not big enough no more for Bridget. Bridget, I'm over it, but um, it works. I still need it. This is five gigs. I can plug this up. And one thing I like about Apple, and so once you kind of make a folder on your hard drive in Final Cut Pro, if I go from my iMac to my MacBook, it works. So that's the best thing about it. Like, I don't have no complaints. Um, when setting it up was kind of like, I don't know if I set it up right. I don't even lie. I was like, I don't know if this is right, but it's been working. I know I'm plugged in, plugged it back over here. So um, for my lights, one of my lights is a here. It's a Ville, I don't know how to say Ville Trox. Um, 5060 has gold and white. Now this light here goes pretty much on the wall. It lights up this over here. Like if you look at my videos, this is lit up. So this is an angle over here. 
lighting this up, right? So that's one light. So I have four lights. Now, the most important, y'all see how I light it? Ooh, it look good. Now, this right here is the Young New, Young New 600L. This is straight blue light, like a uh, daylight. Um, I have it like actually, um, uh -oh. I have it on 39. If I go up, look, look at this y'all, watch this. You see how bright this gets? This at 99. So I have it on 39 and this is, I have one, two, I have two of these lights. They're very important. I have two. I'm not using two to film, but I have two. I have one downstairs and then I have the 1200. Honestly, I could have, eh, the 1200 was cool, but I like this one better because you can move and separate. The 1200 is like a bunch, a bunch of lights. This is a newer light. I have two of these, and this light here is, um, it has gold in it as well, but it's all blue. So this is a newer. I think these are kind of old. They have some new ones, but I like it, and I'll need another one. And then this is the Valtrox. So I bought the Nord lights and the Valtrox, I think these are. I bought these, this has gold in it. Like with my setting, I have gold in it to kind of balance balance everything off. And I just really like this light. Um, I like the light. All right, y'all, so look, we done. I done showed y'all everything I have as for a content creator with my cameras, my, uh, memory card holders. I have showed you everything that I possibly have. Did I get this stuff overnight? No, I did not. I took a couple income taxes, took a couple big jobs. It took some savings. It took me a minute. It took, it's taken me a few years to accumulate all these things. Like my lights, y'all, my lights are really old. Like they're not old like that. Like I've had them for a while. And the thing is I've invested in really good stuff like like me saying i need another lens i don't necessarily need it and the only reason why i want the upgrade to this is battery life and it doesn't crop in battery life and it doesn't crop in and it's supposed to do something else oh yeah and all my cameras i can live stream on all my cameras i can live stream on every last one of them um you could check out a live stream i've live streamed on my 7 4 uh, amazing because I want my content to look the same across going live when I say live stream like on YouTube going live you'd be like mm, that don't look good because you know a baby that would um stream yard goes together but if y'all have any questions now if y'all be like Bridget so what's your settings um I can sure uh y'all ask me questions ask me questions about all this and I could help you to the best of my abilities and then I'll drop another video answering those questions but as a, and make sure y'all share this, share this with your friends. Anybody looking for content, if y'all have questions like, well, Bridget, what if, if I should get this? Should I get this? Like, ask me. Like, let me tell you, I done looked at, I looked at the um, Nikon camera. I looked at some stuff. I'm just into gadgets like, ooh, what's new? I'm that first, ooh. Like, I promise you, I'm that, ooh, let me, I am. But um, this is something I had on my to-do list for a while. I think it was time, I think it was appropriate. I can halfway explain this stuff to y'all because at first I couldn't explain like I can give you a tour But what this camera doing? I couldn't explain the full frame and all that the difference in the different shades and all that stuff Now we start talking about them specs and all that stuff mm, I Know what the camera do and I one thing I know it's gonna give me some good content <laughs> And on that note everything will be linked in the descriptions Thoroughly and if you have any questions, please reach out Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and also um, follow me on all social media platforms. And if you haven't, make sure to um, join the Beauty Babes. Hashtag Beauty Babes 6 972 Text hashtag uh, Beauty Babes to me and get on there. And we're going to talk and we're going to chat. So I will talk to y'all sooner than later.